Okay, this is uh, hit BTC. We're going to withdraw our Bitcoin and also withdraw our Ethereum and send it over to our uh, Exodus wallet. I should I do that? We're going to, first of all, they make you transfer. There's a button right here that transfers um, it from your main account to your trading account. So you have to hit the button here in order to transfer or you can't withdraw it. That's the first thing. I made that mistake not even seeing that button. Um, but that's how they do it over there. Um, so we're going to withdraw all of this. We're going to send it to the address that we have. Let's see here. And this is Bitcoin. So make sure you do this right. Bitcoin can only send it to Bitcoin addresses. So this is the address we're sending it to. That amount, we're sending it to that address, which is my Bitcoin address. Authentication code is another you know, they do their two-part authentication code, so nobody can steal your money over there. <clears throat> and, let's see. And withdraw. Withdrawal request com confirms by email as well. So this particular site, they do two-part two authentication, and they do an email from uh, the email account as well. Let's see. Withdrawal verification. Boom. Success. Okay. And then now we're going to withdraw our Ethereum. Same thing, but we're going to send it on the Ethereum network. So we're going to go to our wallet, go to Ethereum, request, and boom. We'll withdraw it. Address. We'll send it all over. Authentication code. Confirmation email. Sufficient funds, not too sure what that means. Let me make sure that went through. Something just went for a while. Let's hit the second one. Let's see. Invalid token. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. But let's see. We might have already headed that direction. Let's see. Ethereum, there's nothing in there. Ethereum, a Bitcoin went in there. Bitcoin received a few seconds. So that was only 136 bucks. And. Ethereum there should be a couple dollars. Ethereum as well. Let's see, main accounts right here. Okay, it's still there. So let's see. Let's try to withdraw it again. That's not the right address. That's our money to write everything. Ethereum. Copy it over. Make sure it's Ethereum, E T E T H. And we're gonna send it all. Token. Invalid token. That's for the Bitcoin address. That's not the right one. That's for the Ether one. Let's try that one. 
Okay, withdrawal. Success. Basically, I was getting confused. I guess I was clicking on the wrong link, maybe. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong one. It says successful, so it should go to our Ethereum wallet right here. It should show up right here in just a few minutes. Let's see. Let's see. Withdraw Ether. Main account. ID. So what we could do is also go to the Ether blockchain as well. You could also put your own personal address in there, which I can type in Ethereum, the address right here, and find out if anything's going through it right now. Let's see. 52 seconds ago. Pending to I think this is my transaction that's going on right now. Let's see, what's my wallet address? K zero X F B nine one. F B nine one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Okay, so th this is the transaction from them, F B nine one. And then there it is. One minute ago, pending. Point, point one, barely any money. Basically, you see the transaction going right there, and you're just waiting for it to confirm. Confirmations. This is on public ledger, so you know what's going on. $49 is what's pending right now. <clears throat> so it hasn't been long. It has been probably almost two minutes so far that that has been submitted so we're just waiting for the miner to go through and uh, initiate that transaction and we're and once that happens and uh, it'll pop up in our wallet see it's already been two minutes I think it I think it'll pop in the wallet before it hits three minutes to be honest I think it's it's pretty quick usually Uh, it might not. Nope, it's not going to make it. It's three minutes now. And we're still waiting for it to show up in our wallet. And we're still waiting for the transaction to go through. Pending, 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 pending. <clears throat> But after it, the penny goes away, it just shoots up in your wallet, just like Bitcoin just did. It'll show up right here with Bitcoin. Ethereum will show up here. And, um, you know, if you have any other coins, you can direct them in their special location right there. Their own, these are special, their own little wallets. So they have their own special address there that goes along with it. Four minutes. We're waiting for. There it is. Forty-nine dollars. So that just came in. So that was probably a total of four minutes. So it wasn't so bad, but um, transaction goes through through hit hit BTC. Uh, let me know if you got any trades that you're interested in. 
Um, Neo went up quite a bit. Um, and I made a Facebook group or whatever. But anyway, um, Neo went up um, in the last seven days quite a bit. Quite a bit. So I remember it. I had a sheet marked off on Neo because I was going to purchase it on Monday. Monday is my purchase. This is actually marked. I wrote it in pen. And this is printed off Monday at 3.30 p.m. So basically, I marked Neo on Monday what I was going to purchase. And let's see here. And it was, let's see. I can't see it very well. Anyway, Neo was $24. $24. Now Neo is $33 today. And this is only Monday. Today is uh, Wednesday. So you would have made a shit ton of difference in money uh, flipping Neo in a few days. Swing traded it. Somebody, there, somebody made a lot of money. A lot of people made a lot of money. Uh, if you see any other items that are getting ready to budge, let me know. I'll let you know as well.